here welcome back to another dauntless video i hope you guys had a chance to jump into the shatter isles and check out the new update alongside our console brothers and sisters one of the first things i noticed when i stepped into ram's gate was the blossoming of the soccer cheese and the smell of the ninjutsu in the air <laughs> If you're wondering why I said ninjutsu, just take a quick look at the Hunter's Pass. You'll notice it's ninja themed. I'm not really going to go into what's in the Hunter's Pass because everybody and their mother has uh, made a video on it. So I'm going to move on. But along with the new Hunter's Pass, we have a few new UI and quality of life changes that I think are essential to Dauntless. Originally, I was going to put out a video on UI changes that I thought needed to come to Dauntless, but after checking out the new update, I realized a lot of things I listed in that video were dealt with already. So, alright, now let's get into the changes. When I first logged in, I noticed the notifications on the left side of my screen, and boy, I was happy. Because it shows the number of quests ready to be completed, along with the number of quests available to be picked up. And I think personally this was really needed because it gives the game a better sense of progression and along with that a change came to the map at the top of the screen. They added three new icons. These icons lead you to the most important NPCs in Ramgate. The repeater crafter, the armor smith, and the weapon smith. This is something that we really needed to help with the new player experience so they're not just running around Ramsgate trying to find old. Oh, Where's the repeater crafter? Where's the weapon smith? Where's the armor smith? They can just look at the top of the map and find out exactly where they are. Now, moving on to the topic of weapons and armor, we have proper icons for each behemoth part now. But we needed that. So now you can see if you need a tail break, there's an icon for that. You can see the tail right there. If you need a claw break, oh, there's an icon for that. You can see the claw right there, and so on and so on. On top of that, we now have icons for each individual behemoth when selecting them for a hunt and when browsing through a patrol. This, I thought this really comforting because those, the little white icons, they were nice, but you could tell it's pretty much placeholder. If you didn't know the behemoth, you wouldn't really know the icon, so a new player coming into the game wouldn't really know what the behemoth is. When I saw this, I thought to myself, oh, finally, proper icons on top of the map, and at the same time, when I saw these icons, I thought to myself, we finally have proper icons. On top of that, they just genuinely look nice. Now let's move on to a few other changes. When using any type of potion in battle, be it an attack potion or a health potion, it takes about two seconds to use. And I love that because it helps you heal a lot quicker than we used to. So imagine you have lingering burn. You no longer have to wait, what, the whole of like five, six seconds to heal with that potion and risk dying from burn damage. Nah, you heal in two seconds. And on top of that, there was a change to Aether Vents. We now have a visual cue for how many charges are left in the Aether Vents. And this is represented by vapor waves coming out of Aether Vents. And I think this is really helpful because imagine you're in a sticky situation, your teammates are down, you're scrambling trying to get that Aether Vein, oh, oh, there still might be a charge left, I need that health. Nope, <laughs> there's no charge left and you're just sitting there looking like, oh, damn. I could have healed off that, but uh, there, it's all gone. Now you don't have to worry about that. You can see it from a distance clearly how many charges are left and that's a great thing. Now let's move on to one of the smallest changes, but I think is like one of the most feel good changes to the game. You know the boost vents around the map? Those vents, now when they launch you up, you now land a lot quicker than before. There's no more lingering in the air, being able to shift and roll forward while still in the air. And after that roll, you're still floating. Then you hit the ground, nah. Now we have a lot more fluidity to the game. So once you launch from that vent, you hit the ground a lot quicker and it just genuinely increases the pace of the game instead of having that awkward pause in the middle of the air. Now, it's about that time, guys. It's time for my opinion. This is a part of the video where I tell you guys what I think Dauntless should add to their UI. So one thing I think they should add is a weapon tracking system where we could go to the blacksmith or the armor smith and somehow click a button and choose a weapon to track or a piece of armor to track. Then this could show up on the top right of the screen and I just chose the top right because there's a lot of empty space there when we go in town. So I think that would be a good place to put it. And it'll be able to track what the name of the weapon is, what type of weapon it is, 
and what resources are needed to craft the weapon. So like what, how many resources you need left to craft that weapon. I think this would give the game a lot more, no, I think this would give the game a better sense of progression because after a hunt, when a player comes back, all they have to do is look at the top right of the screen, view how many parts they need and what behemoth they need it from and just jump right back into the hunt without needing to scramble, run to the blacksmith, look at that, and then start the hunt. No, they'll be able to start it right after they come back, so it'll make the game flow a lot quicker. Mainly I thought of this because I know the game is missing an inventory system, and I saw a few people on Reddit asking for an inventory system, or a different version of the old inventory system to come back, but I think this would be a better alternative because you'll be able to track the materials you need for the weapon you want without having to run back to the blacksmith. And honestly, at this moment, that's like the only complaint slash idea I have about the inventory system and the UI because there were a lot of great changes that frankly I just didn't see coming. I knew it was console release was going to come out. I just didn't see how big of the update. It's, it's not, I wouldn't say that big of an update, but how much quality of life changes they made to the game. We're going to make to the game. Okay guys, this is the end. So if you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button and leave a like on the video. And on that note, I catch you guys on the next video. TJ out.